Okay, so I'm just creating this headline here and, I'm, and you can see my design, it's it's actually quite, um, it's not very wide, this column here, you can see there's lots of space here on the side and there's lots of space here on this side and the way we're going to achieve that with through this um, section here so I'm going to edit the padding for this particular um, column. I'm going to change it to... First I'm going to make it centered. And I'm going to have column padding. So I think 10% should be okay. Or maybe let's go 6%. see how that looks okay let me just click update again Okay, that's not bad. Let's check what happens when it's when the screen is minimized. It's also okay. What about iPhone size? Okay, the line breaks are not that good. And what, I, what I'm referring to with the line breaks is see see where this um, what would be ideal is if this no was on the other was on the next line. Um, Obviously, it's hard to control this for various um, screen sizes for like an iPad. This is probably like an iPad size. This is an iPhone size. So once again here, it would be nice if this was on the next line and this is on the next line and this is on the next line. But there's not really much we can do about that, unfortunately. And there's a lot of there's a lot of padding up here, um, which I don't like. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and edit that. So I'll go back here. I'm gonna edit that again. I'm gonna change it to f maybe five percent. And I'm also going to edit the padding on the top let's get check the padding on the top and bottom so the padding on top here and then there's padding on the bottom here and then there's more padding ar around every side of this text so if I right click here I'll show you what I'm talking about Okay, so, so see the green, the green um, spot there is that 5% padding that we added. And then here is, see there's the green here, there's also more padding at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to, we want to remove all that, or we want to adjust it, shall I say. So the padding at the top, let's make it 60. So it's 60 and 60. And also within the text blocks, I can actually adjust the width. Um, I can adjust the padding here and the padding here. So 
go ahead design options and make give it um, 25 and 25 that should be a nice amount of padding oops make it 25 here that's 25 pixels is actually not a lot of padding but we have to be careful with not by not adding too much um, because of when it appears on an iPhone or, or a smartphone should I say so I'll save that update and I'll refresh the page we should see a much nicer balance here okay it's looking quite good um, still don't like how this is breaking where it is I think it would be much nicer if it broke a little bit earlier so that the no delays is on the next line so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do to get that going. So as you can see, that's not really ideal. So there's n I don't know if there's much we're going to be able to do about this. It might be better to add no padding on the sides there and let no delays come up a bit. That's probably the best solution we can have. Yeah. So let's do that instead. I'm going to go back here to design options and I'm going to remove this padding. And I also still feel there's too much padding at the top. Uh, let's change it to 50. And at the bottom, I'm going to take it down to. Um, zero because the next section is also white um, well let's take it down to 45 and 45 and I'll make the next section not have any padding at the top so this portfolio I'm just going to get rid of that I'm going to add a text block and I'm actually going to change the style of this um, this section because what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at adding this element here, this picture, and this element here, this this text. So it's actually one row with two columns, one column here and one column here. So the first column. I say the second column 
uses an h2 tag for this uh, heading formats heading h2 and let's see what else there is in the text there's also a button at the bottom and it says read more so I'm going to add that too and it seems to be a medium sized button so we've got a nectar shortcodes button medium uh, text and I'll say read more for now um, It, the, the page it needs to link to is collections so if I go to the website how we help dead debit order collections open that link in your new page and I'll copy that link and I'll add the link here and it needs to be regular accent color And the default error is nice. Let's go with none actually. So to change it to two columns, I uh, just click this, we hover over this section here. I could make it three columns, but I don't want three, I want two for this particular area. And I want this part to be on the right hand side so I'm just going to drag and drop on this side here I actually want to add an image so I'll just go to add an image which is single image here we go and I'll Click here, add image, and I'm going to upload a few files here that I've already created earlier. I think. Three peaks website, web ready. Yes, I have created the images. So I'm going to add these four images. And I'm just going to see what this image is about. This image is about collecting payments from your customer's credit card or bank account every month so it's payment collections customer payment collections so under this image I'm gonna say customer payment collections made easy Alt text, I'm just going to copy and paste that. And I'll set this image here. Align center. And fading in is a nice um, animation. Animation delay, let's make it 450 milliseconds. Link to large image. No, because that we've made the image as large as it's going to appear and save and for this particular um, section I want zero padding on the top and about let's say 50 let's say yeah let's say 50 pixels of padding at the bottom and the background color must be white And the type of row is full width content. Actually, it needs to be in, yes, full width content is actually the right one we want to go for. But we're going to have to give each column padding on the left and right. Um, 
So I'm going to add padding to the particular column. And the left hand column is the image and the right hand column is the text. Um, so I'm going to add only to the left. I'm going to add 6%. Might cancel that. No, that's fine. I want column padding of, let's say, six percent. And I want it only on the left. And with this column here, I want column, I want padding on the right. And I want to center the content as well. 6% and right. So let's update this and see how it looks. Refresh. Okay, it's not bad, but we want this text to be aligned to the left. So Let's adjust that, make sure that this is left aligned. And I want to give it some more padding on that right hand side as well. The other thing I want to do is see how this text is actually right at the top or in what well, it's aligning at the top of this image. I actually want to push this text down a bit so that it's more centered as per my design. See how this text and then that button is more centered in relation to this image. So what I've got to do is I've got to go to the, uh, the section settings or actually in, I think it's called a row. Let's call it a row and then click make all columns in this row vertically centered. So let's save that and update the page. Refresh this page. That's perfect. Now it's all aligning really nicely. But I'd probably like to give it a bit more padding on that right hand side so that more words fit at the bottom the bottom line here and it doesn't swing out so far on the right. So let's do that. Let's give it some. Um, I might even do it within the column as well. No, I don't want to do that because what's it going to look like? 
Okay. So this could be a potential problem. Um, when in responsive formats, this image and text, or the image going full screen is fine, but the text sitting along the side is not nice. Uh, so when you're viewing on an iPhone or an iPad, to have this text right up against the ads, it doesn't really work. So what I'm going to do with that is add some column padding to... Actually, I'm going to add some text padding. Text box padding. So let's make it 30 and 30 might work quite nicely. I'm just going to update that. I'll refresh the page. Okay, so that's a bit better. And when I view it here, um, also quite nice it's um, you can see there's a bit of space here on the left and on the right but I wouldn't mind a little bit more on the left and the right and also at the top and bottom I'm going to add some padding there at the top and bottom so let's go back to that setting of the text box I want to make it 40, 40, 40, and say 15 at the bottom there. Actually, I need to make this equal. Let's make it 30 and 30. refresh this page okay so that's looking really nice really well balanced from the in terms of the padding here 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 and if we go to a different view there's a nice bit of padding all around here um, nice padding at the top, on the sides, and beneath as well. Just really well balanced there. So, um, I think that matches the design quite closely actually. A couple of little things. Um, I've noticed the font is looking a lot darker in my design. As you can see here, it's 222. And on the website, all the fonts are appearing, they seem a bit dull. Um, yeah, here I can see H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Um, they're all using 4444. So I want to change that to 222. And I also want to change the body copy to 222. So I'm going to have to find out where that is. So there you can see it's nice and dark now. And to how do we change this? So there you can see the body color is also like some gray color, but I want that to be um, a dark, a darker gray color. So that's much better, more readable which is the aim of the game. So to actually change, um, apply those changes to the website, I'm going to have to go to the salient general settings. And I'm going to go, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to insert a bit of custom CSS into the general settings area. OK, 
Okay, here's where I'm going to add the code. I'm going to add it right at the top here. So it's going to say h1, h2, comma h3, comma h4, comma h5, comma h6, comma body. Curly bracket. Next line. Color. Colon. Hashtag. And there's the color code. End it with a semicolon. Enter and closing curly bracket. So if I save this and then go back to refresh the, the page, it should reflect the change. And it has. So is this much more readable? And you can see here this button's got a lot more width on it. Uh, there seems to be a larger button too. So I'm actually going to go back to this um, text box and I'm going to change the button. I'm going to change it to size large. Actually, I'm just going to insert a new one because I actually need to add that line icon in order to get the width on that button that I wanted. So I'm going to go to Nectar Shortcodes, button, size large, link URL. It needs to say read more, I believe. Yep. And regular accent color is fine. The font set, let's use the default arrow. And let's save that. And update. Refresh this page. And that's a much better looking button. Um, and it matches the design a lot closer. And it's got a nice animation of the arrow. What I don't like is I don't like this um, border on the on the the base of the what's well, almost like a drop shadow. Um, so I'm gonna right click and inspect element. I'm going to see where that's coming from, that border. Um, might be background color. No, that's not it. I think it's this WebKit box shadow. So I want to actually remove, if I untick this, it should remove it, but it hasn't. may have to make it none. Okay. So what I did here was I changed yeah. 
I changed, I found out where the, the, the shadow is coming from and I just click, clicked it and I, um, I wrote none. Um, I'm going to also have to do it for these ones. Let's write none. 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 And I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to go back to my settings where I changed the font color before. Which so salient general settings. Add that underneath here, underneath where it's, I've got some more custom CS on buttons. So I can remove the stuff that I'm not editing and I only want to add this bit here. Um, let me just go back to this element. So I want to copy this. And I'm actually going to make sure that it doesn't appear on the medium ones as well. So I'll, I'll type in medium and small. So it should affect all the buttons, not just the large ones. Let's see how that looks. the page it's gonna wait for this to reload so I can reload the home page Okay, so I've just reloaded this page and you can see the buttons don't have um, a drop shadow anymore. Let's see if there's any more buttons here. No, that was it. Okay. So I'm happy with this section. Uh, there's one more thing I need to add. I need to add this little icon that I had here in my design. Um, this little clock icon. And it's actually a font awesome icon. So I just want to see if I'm able to um, add it in with next to the copy and see how that looks. There might be a way to do it. I'm going to see if it's in the short codes. There it is. And it's a clock. So we're looking for a clock here. There it is. And I want it to be the accent color, which is our blue color. And add the short code. 
So let's um, see what that looks like. Refresh the page. Okay, you can see there it's added the icon that we wanted. Um, it's a little bit small, but I think it's okay. It's reasonably close to what we have in the design. Um, let's see what happens uh, in a smaller view. Okay, it appears quite a bit bigger. So all I want to do now is I want to add um, some more space in between those two. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some non-breaking spaces. Add, um, which is here, non-breaking space, and I'll add another one. So then there's three spaces there, and let's update. Okay, so the space is a bit much now. I'm going to have to delete one of those spaces that I added. So let me just add one instead. So there we go. Really nice space here. Really well balanced again. And it looks really good um, even on different um, device widths. So even if you go to like an iPhone size, still really nice. And if I click read more, it's going to take me to that page. Okay. The good thing about setting up this section here is that most of our other sections look fairly similar in our design. Um, so we're going to be able to copy and paste a lot of that content. So I'm going to copy this. I'm actually going to just delete some of these columns here. Okay, so to copy a section or a row that we just created, just click on this, clone this row. And it's directly below, so I'm just going to switch these over. So that the text is on the left. to change this icon so the icon I want to use uh, again is regular accent color is fine and this time it needs to actually be a different color it needs to be the orange color and it needs to be a tick so there's the tick uh, I want extra color one and add short code so it's perfect and we also need to change the color of the button, which we've got here, and the link. So here I've got credit check. So 
So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to change the link. And we're going to change this to extra color one. Extra color one. And that should work perfectly. If I save that, and I'm just going to have to change this, Im this image from the man to the credit check image. So I'll save that. This time we need to reverse the the padding since uh, the alignment's different. This time the image is on the right instead of the left with, with, as the other is. So I'm just going to reverse this. I'm going to change it to right. And same as this row here. I'm going to just reverse the side that the padding appears on. Go to the left. Save. I'm also going to add some padding to the top of this row. And I also need to change, I also need to add a background image. As you can see with the design, there's a really subtle, seamless, titleable um, image here, which I saved earlier. So I'm going to have to make sure that that appears. Now I can do that by clicking the row settings and adding, making sure this is a full width background. Actually, let's keep it full width content. Add an image. And there's the pattern. And I want it to repeat. Padding top, I want 55. Actually, let's make it 60 and 60. Let's see, let's update that and see how it looks. So there's a new section. Um, but I don't like, I think there needs to be more padding at the top here and at the bottom. So I want to see what I've done in my design. How much padding is there between the top of this image and the bottom. So let's grab the selection tool here and just make a rough. And I can see there that it's about 90, 95, let's say. pixels. So I'm going to have to go back to the row and make it 95 and at the top 95. And the other thing is that uh, if, we, if we go back to the design, here there's actually a separate line for this sentence, even if it is a short one. So I want to do the same thing here. I want to make that go onto a, a separate line. So I'll go save this and I'm going to go back to the text and I'm just going to press enter there and that should do the trick. So update 
And then that's looking a lot better. There's a lot of padding on the top and on the bottom here. What I don't like is that there's still so much padding. Uh, there's not much padding, sorry, here between this white section and this new uh, credit score check section, which is also missing the background that we added. So I'm gonna have to check that too. So the padding we want here, we'll go back to the design. I'm gonna, I want it needs to be. Um, hundred and say 125 just to make it consistent I'm also going to add make this 125 Another thing I noticed is that in the mobile view, there's just so much padding up here and so little between this read more uh, button and the image, but it's this other padding that I'm worried about. And it might even add more when we do this, when we update this. So let's see how it looks. Let's update. So that's reloaded. It's got the nice background that our design had. I feel like our design it was a bit more subtle, um, especially these lines in the background. So I don't know how that's working so well. I also don't like this space between this paragraph and this paragraph. I might have to add a bit of, uh, instead of creating uh, two paragraphs, I might just add some space between the two. So what I'll do is I'll add a short code of a as a divider. Um, and the nice thing about that is it removes the, well, I think it removes the paragraph padding if I'm not mistaken. So let me add a divider here, short code, and let's make it five pixels. Well, let's make it five, okay, five. So let's rather remove this and give it a, a soft return instead and see how that works out. Um, Refresh this, and that didn't quite work as planned. So, let me see how I can fix that. Save that and update. And it's still not working. So let's go back to our original. 
Let's remove that divider. And let's rather give this a proper return, a hard return, and see how that looks. Okay, for now, let's just leave that how it is, um, but let's see what, the what this is looking like in the responsive view. There's a lot of space here, which is not working very well at the top and at the bottom. So we're gonna have to add um, column padding rather than just padding at the top and bottom. We'll add some padding on the top and bottom of this and also on the top and bottom of this image. And also this section here too. If I change this padding to percentage rather than pixels, then it's going to look nicer on the um, tablet and phone views. So let me add it to the bottom of this so let's say bottom and right and remove some padding from the bottom. Let's change it to 95. I'm gonna do the same thing here. This time with the image column. Say bottom and right. Change that to ten percent. Let's readjust this. I think ninety five was the other one. Let's stick with ninety five. Add some padding to the top of this one. Might even change it to all sides. Um, see how that looks. 